we hit those double bonds and we get a little we get a little bit like ah oh, this is this is harder to use for energy Dr. Sarah, from a health perspective, what is the difference in monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, and saturated fats? Yeah, so there's many different fatty acids that are saturated, monounsaturated, or polyunsaturated, especially saturated and polyunsaturated. Um, most, like about 80% of the monounsaturated fats in the average human diet is one, one fat, oleic acid. Uh, just, just, just that, just that one, that is the main fat we're getting in olive oil, in avocados, in cashews, right? Um, one, one fat. And what's cool about monounsaturated fats is when they're like integrated into our cell membranes, uh, when they're integrated into, uh, LDL particles that makes them less susceptible to oxidation. Whereas saturated fats and polyunsaturated fats, whether it's omega-3s or omega-6s, have a higher susceptibility to oxidation. Oxidation is kind of a normal process in our body. That's why we make antioxidant enzymes. That's why we have a bunch of um, antioxidant uh, essential nutrients from our diets like vitamin C and vitamin E, polyphenols, which are uh, non-essential, but still very important antioxidants. Uh, so our body's able to like handle Oxid oxidation, uh, just, you know, to a limited capacity. So that's why having those dietary antioxidants and our own cool antioxidant enzymes is so beneficial. So, uh, so that's like one difference in the health effects of saturated versus monounsaturated versus polyunsaturated. Um, there's some other, like, there's really specific ways that specific fats are used. Um, so some are turned into like signaling molecules. So these are, are chemicals that help to communicate between cells or um, like hormones are a type of like long distance signaling molecule. We've got like short distance versions of those. We've got a bunch of molecules that turn on or turn off different aspects of the immune system that are considered signaling molecules. Signaling molecules even happen inside a cell and they help like they make things happen. So they can you know turn on inflammation or turn off inflammation. They, you know, they can, um, like they can cause a variety, they can cause like changes in how like LDL cholesterol is formed and metabolized, right? There's, there's so many different chemical pathways that use specific fats and that's why we have some essential fats. So, uh, omega threes and omega sixes are the essential fats. We need both of those because they're used in a variety of different capacities to regulate uh, all kinds of biological systems. So, um, omega threes and omega sixes are really important fats that are like turned into signaling molecules. Uh, whereas, um, saturated fats, uh, are metabolized a little bit differently. Um, so, you know, they're still, they're still, all the fats are also used for energy. Saturated fats are still used for energy. Saturated fats are actually the easiest for us to break down and use for energy. So it's the easiest for us to just like break it apart and and use. Um, we hit those double bonds and we get a little we get a little bit like ah, oh, this is this is harder to use for energy. Um, so all fats are used for energy, and then many different fatty acids are used as the basis for a variety of of signaling molecules. Um, other biological processes that are really important. So the the net effect is that the most like health beneficial fats are oleic acid as the main monounsaturated fat in our diet, um, omega threes. So both the shortest uh, omega three, alpha linolenic acid that's found in chia and flaxseed uh, and hemp seed, um, and the longer chain omega threes docosahexaenoic acid and icosapentaenoic acid that are found in seafood. Uh, and then linoleic acid, the main omega-6 found in vegetable oils, but also found in like nuts and seeds and a variety of whole foods, whole grains. Um, so those are the most important health promoting fats. There's some cool, more obscure ones like conjugated linoleic acid, which is a naturally occurring trans fat found in dairy products and grass-fed meat. Um, gamma linolenic acid is a really cool, uh, omega six, um, that is found in a few different foods. Um, but it's like really high in things like evening primrose oil and borage. Um, and that has some really important signaling that's, that's anti-inflammatory and super beneficial and actually can, um, interact with, uh, some hormone regulation systems. Um, so those are the fats that have 
the track record because of the molecular pathways that they're involved in of improving long-term health. So our main ones, oleic acid, monounsaturated fats in general, uh, all of the omega-3s and uh, linoleic acid as an omega-6 with some other cool, more obscure ones like conjugated linoleic acid and gamma linolenic acid in, in the mix. Um, but that's, and then short chain fatty acids, I feel like a whole other category. Um, short chain fatty acids like butyrate, uh, acetic acid and propionate, those are the three. Um, those are produced by our gut bacteria, but there's also some inherent to foods like acetic acid is found in vinegar. Uh, butyric acid or butyrate is found in dairy products. Uh, those are also very readily used for energy uh, by our cells and have been shown to be associated with a variety of health benefits. So uh, yeah, so it just kind of depends. Like we can't just say all saturated fats do this, the, the short sat saturated fats um, seem to reduce cardiovascular disease risk. The long saturated fats seem to increase it. Uh, so it's complicated. There's a whole thing called the like palmitic to stearic acid ratio which I feel like that is a topic for a, a long deep dive video. If you if you want, uh, you can go read my articles on palmitic acid and stearic acid on the website. Now, if you want to go dive into that, that is a can of worms I'm not ready to open here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the answer is the details matter. So exactly which fatty acid we're talking about changes the molecular pathways that it's involved in, which changes the overall health effects. But if we're looking for the patterns, the patterns are short fatty acids, are great. Uh, monounsaturated fatty acids are great. Omega-3s and omega-6s are great.